They're all going crazy. They're like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god it just crashes me. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. There's so many. There's so many bugs. <laughs> Pretty cool, and then it's just this. It's uh, a box, and then like a big hole cut into it, and then here's aluminum foil with a little tiny hole for the sun. Hello. And then um, a piece of paper with tape on it on the other side. The sun go, the sunlight goes through the hole, and then the reflection of the eclipse is on the paper. It's pretty cool. And then you see it? Yeah. Aluminum. There it is. Look, there it is. There it is. You see it? It's pretty cool, right? You can see the, the little blue moon and then that's supposed to be the reflection of it. Um, you know how they said that the animals go crazy? There's a bunch of dragonflies flying around and they're going crazy. Let me see if I can get them. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. There are so many things flying by. It's crazy. They're all freaking out. Look, Oliver, you want to see the eclipse? Yeah. Anna, can you? Look, it's right there. Hi! <laughs> oh, these dragonflies. Dragonflies, it's okay. Stop freaking out. You better not be looking at the sun. Did you look at the sun? <laughs> There's some squirrels running over here. They're like, oh, I don't know what's happening. I'm scared. It's okay, squirrels. It's okay. Everything's gonna be okay, squirrel. Listen. Hey, squirrel, you're fine. It's just an eclipse. Don't worry about it. I swear, I see so many birds just flying around. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> They're flying in circles. They're flying as our girls. Oh my god, there's a bunch of them. So yeah, the eclipse looks it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's not total eclipse, it's partial, but it's still pretty cool. Look at the squirrel. Right there, squirrel. Hey! He's like, I can't function. The sun is not working. <laughs> it actually feels a lot cooler. Like it's not hot. Which is nice. We need more eclipses. A bee. Hi! <laughs> First, the eclipse is officially over. One thing that I noticed is that the sun it looks brighter than usual. I don't know. Did anybody else notice that after the eclipse? Like, there's it's just brighter for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. What was that? Hmm? Wanna explain yourself? Nasty. Okay, this is the third time I'm filming this because I don't know why my camera's not working. Okay, I'm going to work. <laughs> I'm gonna go to work right now and I'm going early so I can get a new uniform because I'm gonna work in a different position than usual. So that's what I'm doing right now, I'm going to work. So, what I was saying in the other video that got deleted all by itself is that I want to talk about pursuing your dreams. And I know that I'm trying to sound smart, um, even though I'm young, but I have learned a few things in my lifetime. <laughs> a very short lifetime, but I've learned a few things that I want to pass on to you guys. So, I'm fortunate enough to know what I want to do after high school. Um, I want to go to college to pursue a bachelor's degree in animation. After I get my bachelor's, I want to work for Disney, the, their animation studio. And I know that a lot of people out there aren't fortunate enough to know what they want to do or exactly what their dreams are, especially, you know, whenever they become adults because it's hard. I know it's hard. I've seen people go, um, through a, this long process of, oh man, like what's my dreams? What do I want, what, what, what do I want to do? It's a, it's a good journey to go through in life to figure out what exactly it is that you want to do. And, but sometimes people struggle and that's when I feel bad. I already know what I want to do. And I, I wish that I could, I guess, give that to the people that I've seen struggle, but I can't. But what I can do is offer advice. So, 
it's simple really for me at least I figured I asked myself what is it that I love to do now that's hard it's a hard question to answer but for me I just said you know ever since I was little I love drawing I love painting I love art in general I love creating so something in that area how I found out that I want to go into animation really is it was just by oh my god oh my god this guy just crossed over to my lane he's literally two feet away from me no signal whatsoever dude blinker save lives man I'm pissed anyways what was I saying oh my god what was I um okay so what I was saying was that how I found out that I want to go into animation was pretty simple I want to do something that's to do with art, but I don't. I, I don't want to paint. I don't want to draw because I can't really. I mean, there are jobs that you could do that, but it's not easy to find a job like that. What's the next best thing in today's um, today's industry? And I said, well, technology. Technology is really big, really, really big. I said, okay, well, how do I put art and technology together? Animation. Okay, well that's that's one option. And when I when I realized that that could be an option for me, I started watching more animated movies, a lot of Disney movies too. As as I watched a lot of movies um, years ago, uh, a lot of the stories spoke spoke to me. It touched me, and I'm like, I want to do this. I want to be in that group that's behind this project and I want to get to feel what they feel when they accomplish finishing that movie and I'm like this is what I want to do eventually and I know that feeling um, because I've painted before I've I know what it, it's like to finish a painting that's taken you a while and that you know you've put your hard work into the painting I know what it feels like to accomplish something that you're so passionate about. So I can only imagine what the feeling would be to accomplish a movie, an animated movie. Something that you created with a lot of people, of course, but something that that's that's a, from your uh, that you've created from your from your own head. That's what I want to do. That's what I'm chasing. That's my dream. So for other people to to help other people on finding their own dreams, they just have to ask themselves, what do you enjoy? What is it? Because a lot of, most likely, there's a job that you can go into that features what you enjoy. All you gotta do is ask and investigate. And I know it's not easy, especially for people who didn't go to college. Because it's like, well, I don't have a degree, so what do I do? Well, for me, I don't have a degree. But look at me, I'm working for Disney. It might not be the area that I want to work in right now at the moment because I want to do animation. I don't have the education right now, but I was able to get into the parks and I was very fortunate because I live 20 minutes away from the parks. So I'm like, I gotta take advantage of this. So that's one example of how to get closer to your dreams even if you don't have a college degree. It may be hard for people, for some people, because it's not easy to switch to another job you may need three jobs and you may not be able to get the the job that you need or the job that you want but if you keep persisting persisting if you <laughs> can't think right now okay i'm at work because i just couldn't handle my camera anyways what i was saying was that you need to ask yourself is my life worth all the stress all the the pain and just the ridiculousness of the job that i have because that's what i that's what i felt at the pizzeria i'm like i can't do this anymore like i had to stand next to an oven for so many hours and it was hot and during rush hour i deserve more than this you know i'm i'm talented i need to just look for another job another job that makes more sense i look at the the my my first job as a stepping stone to this job and 
I know it's not that easy for a lot of people. I've just had a lot of luck. This is my journey. It's not going to be the same for everybody else, but all I'm saying is that if you are struggling, if you have a job that you hate, and if you have dreams of getting out of there and pursuing other dreams that you know about and that you've asked yourself about, do something about it because the years are going to go by fast. And I was only at the pizzeria for two months, so I'm happy I got out of there fast. And I learned that, you know, I have the option to get out of there, I have the option to move on and to find a better job for myself. This job pays more and I feel like I do, in a way, not, not less, but I feel like I have less stress. How about that? Create a solution for yourself, perfect for your situation. Whatever it is, you can get yourself out of it. So, now I gotta go to work and get a new, uh, new uniform, so I'll talk to you guys later.